Okay, the Bible says, Welcome everybody to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. We just want to welcome you and we want to invite you to open up yourselves so God can come in. Amen. He says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh -huh. uh, are you listening? Yeah. He sent a friend invitation or a friend request. Yeah. <laughs> Have you confirmed? Yeah. Have you accepted it? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Susan and Patricia. And uh, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome the NBC family, visitors, and all joining us by audio or video. Amen. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Yes, yes. You know, we do a great thing, a great, uh, oh, what's it say, for Christmas uh -huh. and for uh, ha 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 uh, happy birthdays. You yeah. know, we always prepare ourselves because we know we're going to get something. Amen. Somebody going to give you something. Uh -huh. Well, you know what? When you meet with him on a daily basis, it's called relationship. Yeah. But you come expecting yeah. to be blessed. You come yeah. expecting to be filled. You come expecting to just fulfill whatever God has for you. Amen. Yeah. So you come expecting. Amen. So on a daily basis, be expecting what he has yeah. for you. Amen. And he's got some. He's got blessings for you. Amen. Yes, he does. So praise God. Be praise us to receive what God has for you. We're going to be talking today about uh, Jesus is the way. Amen. Right. There's no other way. Yes, you know, uh, we drive everywhere, you know, and there's like all kinds of signs, you know, that take uh -huh. you different places and yeah. different ways, you know, but there's only one way. <laughs> if yes. you want to go to heaven, there's only one way. one way. And Jesus says he is the way yes. or he is the only way. Amen. Yes. So there is no other way. You might take a, a route to go get somewhere and you might have different ways to get there, but uh -huh. not to heaven. There's That's only it. one way. That's Amen. It. So. Let's prepare ourselves. And you know what? We use the Word of God and um, grab your Bibles. Have your Bible handy because well, I'm going to give you a scripture. Yeah. And sometimes I'll read it to you and you may not have time to get right on it. But you hear it and write it down and then you can go back and check it out for yourselves. Amen. So anyway, Jesus says, I am the way. Amen. And that's going to be our text. So before we do all this, let's prepare ourselves and make our, this declaration together. Amen. So say this with me. Grab your Bibles. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You can make that declaration each and every time. Amen. So praise God. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. So Jesus says, I am the way. And this is what he says. To the three things. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh -huh. Amen. So I want you to grab your Bibles and I open them to the uh, book of uh, John, yes. chapter 14. Yes. And we're going to start in verse 4 through 6. So it's John 14, 4 through 6. Are you there? Let's read it together. Amen. And write these down. You know, you can always go back and check. And yeah. uh, maybe I say something wrong. And you can uh, correct me. Yeah. <laughs> so praise God. You believe what the Word of God says, not what Pastor says. If Pastor says something wrong, you know, you still go by what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. So this is our text, John 14, uh, 4 through 6, chapter 4, uh, 14, verses 4 through 6. And whither I go, ye go, uh -huh. that the way ye knoweth. Yeah. And Thomas says unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, mm. and how can we know the way? <laughs> and verse 6 says this, Jesus say, saying them, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, yes. the truth, and the life. Uh -huh. Okay, and it says, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yes, amen. He's our door, yeah. amen. He's our door, he's our way. There may be many ways that you take to go somewhere or do something, but when it comes to heaven, he says, He says, I am the only way, the way, amen. So let's, re let's remember that. 
So I bought our text here. It says, <laughs> on the eve of Jesus' crucifixion, he sat down with his disciples to have a Passover meal with them. During the evening, Judas arrived. Remember, Judas was to betray him. And Jesus knew. He told the disciples that he would be betrayed and then put to death. Yeah. Jesus comforted his uh, disciples by giving them the knowledge that they needed to make it through the time. Jesus has given us his word. Yes, yes. Amen. We need to get in the word. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we know what to do and what's coming. And, you know, as Christians, know what the word of God says so we can know the truth. He says the truth has set you free. Yeah. Amen. So, but we have something to do. Mm -hmm. He's come. Jesus said, um, God sent Jesus, yeah. his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came and did what he fulfilled, what the Father right. sent him to do. And because of him, we have everlasting life. Yes. But still, it's up to us yeah. to receive him Amen. and do according to what the word of God says yes. so that we can live in this world. Amen. Remember, we're in the world, but not of the world, which is passing through. Heaven is our home. If you don't know that yet, it's time for you to know. There's a lot of things we don't know, but you know what? Every time we open the Word of God, yes. we grow yes. and glow for Him. Amen? Amen? We need to grow on a daily basis, just like a child grows from a baby to yes. an adult. <laughs> That's where we all come from. Oh. Amen? And we need to do the same thing. We were baby Christians, but we don't want to stay baby Christians. We want to grow daily in the things of God. Because when you grow, you go. Yes. Amen. And you know what the word says. Yes. So you can able to fulfill what God has called you right, to do. Right. Know that you have a calling on your life. Mm -hmm. Knowing that you're special to it. Yes. Amen. Yes. And knowing that, listen, your enemy mm -hmm. is the devil. Yes. Okay, there's a lot of people out there you may not like. There's a lot of pe <laughs> things people say that you don't care for. But they're not your enemies. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's the devil. He uses people as well as God. Mm -hmm. Amen. If they're not of God, they're the enemies. You yes. say, no, no, I don't I choose neither one of them. Mm -hmm. Well, you just can't be neutral. You yes. just can't be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to choose. Amen. You got to choose God. Yes. You got to choose the enemy. Yes. And if you don't choose God, enemy has you. Yeah. <laughs> so let's remember that. Amen. So let me see. He speaks concerning the place where he is going. Amen. He said he's going to heaven. And he tells them of this place he's preparing for us as well. Thomas says, how do we know how, how to get there? And we yeah. already read it. But Thomas wants to know, how do we know about this place? Mm -hmm. Jesus' answer is known as one of the most uh, beloved quotes the scriptures mm -hmm. in the Bible. He says, I am the way, the yes. truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. Amen. So if there ain't no way you're going to get to heaven by whatever status, whatever right. title you have in this world, uh, whatever finances, monies you have in this world. There's no other way except Jesus, through Jesus. He is the gap. He is the yes. bridge that yes. comes between a man and God. Yes. Thank and if you don't go through this gate, this door, this bridge, this you, you're not getting to heaven. Amen. So let's remember that. Woo. In the book of John, we're talking about the great I am uh, statements. The great I am statement indicate who Jesus was. Confess him as Lord and Savior, and this belongs to us. Mm -hmm. Amen. I gave you some handouts. Mm -hmm. And let me see where mine went. <laughs> I have a handout that we have in our little stand back there. But this little handout, let me read it to you. And it says this. Remember the book of John. And it talks about the I am statements, yes. the I am list. Amen. It says, I am list. If you confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then all these covenant promises of the word of God belongs to you. Mm -hmm. All this is for you. You grab your Bible and listen. Yeah. I want what's mine from, yes. from cover to cover. That's it. Amen. I mean, if, if you're going to sign some insurance, if you're going to sign for something, mm -hmm. and you buy something, you want to know what is yours. Yes. And you want to read cover to cover. I want everything in this Bible from cover to cover. Yes. What is mine? Yes. So this is what he's telling. It belongs to you. 
but you got to take ownership. Yeah. You got to spend time in there to find out right. what it is that belongs to you. It. it says, so I encourage you to look at each scripture and each, this little handout uh -huh. <laughs> has scriptures on each entry. Yes. Amen. So Amen. you need to find out, go to the word of God yourself and read it for yourself. Yeah. Say, wait a minute, this is mine. It belongs to me. Yeah. So I'm, I need to know where it is in the Bible. Yeah. Amen. It's in the yeah. word somewhere. Yeah. It's not just good to know. Well, it's in there. Mm -hmm. Go find it for yourself. Yes. Amen. Take yeah. ownership. So I encourage you to look at each scripture up and agree with God's word. Yeah. Speak them over yourself yeah. daily. Yeah. Nobody's going to speak these blessings over you anytime. That's it. You find them for yourself and you speak them over your life. Amen. Yeah. Daily, especially in facing hard times, oh, and we're going through hard times. Oh Each gosh. and every day, you face hard times. Yes. Okay, so don't just sit down and say, "Well, you know, hey, this is just the way things are." Hmm. Find out for yourself. Yes, we're facing hard times, yes. and they will become a part of you. Mm -hmm. You're taking this awesome word of God and, mm -hmm. and sowing it in you. Yeah. And you know, when you sow these seeds, mm -hmm. it's going to grow in you, yes. and it's going to come out of you, and you're going to confess them, yes. confess the positive things over yes. your life. You know, we've gone all our lives confessing the negative things, yes. and guess what? We put ourselves where we are. Mm -hmm. Amen? So it's time to change that yes. situation, you. and you can make the change. So yes. change is good for you. Yes. Let them become part of you. As you do, your faith grows, and we will witness your life taking a turn for the best. Yeah. Amen. As you confess these things, your life is going to change. Mm -hmm. Because now you're going the right way. Yeah. You're going Jesus' way. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, don't get sidetracked because the world is going to see to it that you're sidetracked. Oh, yeah. They're taking a detour. You know, hey, you know what? You've been going that way too long. It's time to take a break. It's time to take an exit and, and, and do this and do this and do this. No. And the world's going to see to it. They're going to be there just to please you right. and take your attention, mm -hmm. take give you a distraction all the time. Remember what we talked about last week? We said sin will take you further than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to uh, stay, and it'll uh, cost, you. cost you more than you can pay. Mm -hmm. That's sin. Sin is sin. Okay, there's no categories. That's Big right. sin, little sin, mm -hmm. middle sin. No, mm -hmm. sin is sin. Mm -hmm. Little, big, whatever is sin. That's what the Word of God says. Yes. So, as you grow, you go for Jesus. It says we walk by faith hey. and not by fear. We walk by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, as you grow in the Word of God, mm -hmm. your faith grows. And guess what? When your faith grows, your fears have to go. Yes. Amen. So let's remember that. Here's only a few that I wrote. There's quite a few of them here. It says, you are what God says you are. Yeah. If he said it, it's it's for you. Yeah. And you are what God says you are, but you have to believe it. You got to read it and believe it for yourself. You can do what the Lord says you can do. You know what the world is good for? The world is good for disqualifying you uh -huh. and uses people, families and friends and co-workers and all kinds of people to tell you, you can't do that. Yeah. You're not good enough. Mm -hmm. You don't meet the criteria. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. But you know what? God can take all them rejects, the world yes. rejects, yes. and he can take you and make you what he's called you to be. Yes. But you have to do your part. Yes, you do. He's done his part. We got to do our part. Listen to this. I'm just going to read you in between a few of these things, okay? And all of these have scripture to them. Mm -hmm. So it came from the word of God. I didn't make these up. It says, <laughs> the I am list. I am. I am a child of God. Yes. Romans 8, 16. Yes. I am redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Yes. Psalms 107, 2. I am forgiven. I am saved by grace through faith. Yes. I am justified. I am sanctified. I'm a new creature in yes. Christ. Amen. Okay. All these have scripture to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we have to remember this. I am. I am. I am. They all say 
I am. It's called the I am list. Yeah. I am delivered from the power yes. of darkness. Amen. You know, we've been confessing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. If we could confess what the word of God says, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in. Mm -hmm. If we confess what the word of God says, we wouldn't listen to what so-and-so says right, right. or what the world says or what people say about you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I am led by the spirit of God. I am free from all bondages. Woo, man. I mean, we can just go on and on and on. I am a blessing. I am blessed coming in and I'm blessed going out. Hallelujah. Woo, man. Let me see. Just, just, I'm an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. You know, your testimony is, is powerful. Yes, it is. And God can use that to deliver somebody else from what they're going through. Say, yeah, brothers, brother, sister, I've gone through that. God saw me through. And he'll see you through also. Yes. Amen. Yes. So your testimony has uh, is big. Mm -hmm. I am I am delivered. Amen. I'm not moved by what I see. Yes. I'm walking by faith and not by sight. I cast down vain imaginations. Bring every thought into captivity. Mm -hmm. Being transferred by renewing my mind. Yes. I, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I am an imitator of Jesus. Yes. Whew, I am the light of the world. Yes. I am... Yes. Woo. Blessings the Lord at all times and continually praising the Lord with my mouth. Amen. I mean, this is just a just this a is just a few. Mm -hmm. There's more. We couldn't yeah. put them all in the sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. There's many, but you need to do this. You need to take this list yes. and start going over it yes. and confessing it over yourself. Amen. Just like we took whatever the world said, somebody on TV. Somebody on a commercial, somebody uh, wrote something on a billboard, and you've been confessing it all your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So yeah. it's, why can't we do the same thing with the Word of God? Yeah. Take what the Word of God says, and now we can start confessing it over ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a blessing. Yes, it is. And the Word of God will change. The Word of God will change you and make yes. you what God has made you to be. Yeah. Amen. I am great. I am a child of God. Yes. So praise God. So let's find out a few things about the way. <laughs> In Deuteronomy chapter uh, 30 verses one, uh, 15 through 20, uh, 20. He talks about, let's, let's go there and let's read that. And we're going to take it slow. We're not going to try to finish all this today. Amen. So Deuteronomy, that's in the uh, Old Testament. We go back. Chapter 30. Chapter 30. And verses 15 through 20. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, I've got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, 15. See, I have set before you this day life and death. Life and good and death and evil. Yeah. In that command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his way and to keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. And his statutes and his judgment, mm -hmm. that those mayeth live, thou mayest. thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land with whither thou goest and possessest. And verse seventeen says, "But if thine heart turn away, so then thou wilt uh, hear, not hear, but thou wilt draw away and worship." other gods and serve them. And verse 18 says, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not uh, prolong your days on the and on the, on the land whither thou uh, passest over Jordan to go to possess it. Okay. And uh, I gotta turn the page here. I got Verse 19, that I call heaven and, and the earth to record this day against you. Yeah. That I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life. Yes. He tells us what to choose. Yeah. You don't want to choose life over yourself. You want to choose life. Amen. And uh, just choose life. Mm -hmm. okay. Blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life. That thou... Uh, and thy seed may live. And verse 20 says, 
that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, yes. and that thou mayest cleave it unto him, uh -huh. for he is life and the length of day, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy thy father to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give them. Yes. Amen. Amen. So this is what he wants us to do. You know, he don't want us to have other gods. Mm. He wants us to choose him. He wants us to choose life and not death. He's chosen life for us. He's chosen blessings for us. Yes. But we need to know what what it is. Yeah. Amen. And we need to confess those things. Mm -hmm. And we need to know what his word says. Mm -hmm. So nobody can come in. The enemy allows somebody to come and just give us bad information mm -hmm. this is not bad information this is called the truth when you know the truth it's going to set you free amen so praise god yeah. also in matthew 6 24 you can write this down because i want to read them to you matthew 6 24 says two masters mm -hmm. no man can serve two masters mm -hmm. either for he either will hate the one yeah. and love the other or he yeah. will uh Hold to the one and despise the other. Yes. You cannot serve God and mammon. Amen. 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 So, he is the way. He's yes. telling us he is the way. Amen. And this is yes. what we need to do. And Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Write these down. Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Talking about two gates and ways. It says, enter ye into the straight way. Mm -hmm. For wide is the gate and broad is the way. Oh, and leadeth yes. to destruction. Oh, and there goodness. are many there. To which mm -hmm. goeth in threat. Mm -hmm. uh, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way. Mm -hmm. Which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. it. So the way is straight. Meaning narrow. Yes. Or difficult. Yes. Amen. You know hey. <laughs> being a Christian is not for weak. Uh, for yeah. the weak. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to be strong. Mm -hmm. How do I get myself strong? Build yeah. yourself up in the in word the of God. Word. Amen. It. Stir yourself up in yes. the word of God. Amen. Nobody's going to do it for you. Mm -hmm. We always want to take out the easy way out. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but you know, the Bible says that we're, you know, try being. We have a spirit. We got to feed the word of God. We got to feed him. You know, just like you got to feed your body. We got to feed our yeah. spirit, man, the yeah. word of God. Word and we God. have a mind, which is our mind, our will, our emotions. Okay, our soul, we have to renew our mind with the Word of God. Because you're in the world and you see things, you hear things, and you're around things. And you have to renew your mind with the Word of God. Otherwise, you start saying things, doing things that you don't want to do. That's right. So I'm going to renew what the Word of God said, renew my mind with the Word yes. of God. Yeah. So that I don't copy what everybody else is doing. Right, right. But I'm going to do what the Word of God tells me to do. Amen. This is what the world is saying. Mm -hmm. This is what people are saying. Mm -hmm. But what does the Word of God say? Yeah. Amen. I'm going to say and do what the Word of God says, says to do. That's good. Amen. Yeah. And that's why I pay attention when pastor's preaching. Because if pastor says the wrong thing, I'm not going to do what pastor says. I'm going to do what the Word of God says. Amen. He told us to read the scripture, oh, yeah. but he didn't say it right. Yeah. <laughs> So pastor was wrong. It's okay. Pray for me. I'm not perfect. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> and then, and Patricia says she's going to let me know. <laughs> you let me know. Okay. I'm correctable. <laughs> yeah, I can be corrected. Yes. Yes. Amen. And it's okay. But if you learn it my way mm -hmm. and not the Bible way, mm -hmm. you're going to be wrong too. Yeah. So I'm going to learn it God's way. God's way. <laughs> Amen. So, hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Here's, here's another reason why. In Ephesians, it tells us that we wrestle not against yes. flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the powers. Excuse me. Did I say Ephesians 6 12? No. no. What did I say? You just said Ephesians. Okay, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Mm -hmm. You know, as a matter of fact, you can turn there because 6 through 20, I mean, uh, 6 through 18 talks about. Um, putting on the whole armor of God. Yes. And as Christians, we need to keep the armor of God on. Amen. You know, we don't take it off when we go to bed. We don't take it off yeah. with, with whatever. Mm -hmm. We never take it off. Amen. We keep our armor on. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And if uh, I don't know what kind of Bible you have, but I have a King James here. 
and starting verse 10 it says the whole armor of god yes so let's read from there it says finally my brethren be strong in the who lord in the lord and in the power of his might it says put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil Amen. okay the enemy bible says the enemy in john 10 10 does what he comes to steal kill, kill, kill and destroy. destroy amen now jesus says he comes that we might have life and life more abundantly but as we get his word in us yes we find out what his word says mm -hmm. and we're going to live this life abundantly amen, amen. bless 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 yes, yes. amen but verse 12 says uh what i just read to you verse 12 says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood and what is the first thing we want to fight we want to fight flesh and blood because i can see you but we can't see spirit we can't see in the spirit world <laughs> amen we can't see in the spirit world but i can see in the flesh and i can see you and i want to fight so we don't fight flesh and blood this is the word find out what the word of god says so that you don't go around fighting the way you used to fight yeah. now i know how to fight with the word of god amen yes. and guess what he's already when you find out we're fighting yeah. a defeated foe the enemy has been defeated by jesus yes we just need to get the word and confess the word it says submit yourself to god resist the devil and he's going to do what he's going to flee from you he's going to go say wait a minute he's confessing the word too much he's spending too much time with with, with god I, I don't want no part of him. I don't. I don't, I don't want a part of her. Amen. So let's start over again. Verse twelve: For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of what? Of this world. And against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Uh, let me see. Thirteen. Wherefore, take upon the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil days. And having done all to stand, we do what? Stand. Stand. We're standing on the word of God. I'm standing, Lord. I'm standing on your word. Yes. I'm standing on your promises. Yes. I'm standing on your word. Yes. Amen. It says, 14 says, stand therefore, having you learned your loins girded with the truth, yes. and having the breastplate of righteousness, mm -hmm. and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. He's shooting these darts at you all the time. Yes. Amen. So, but you got your shield of faith up. Uh -huh. In verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with prayer and supplication in the spirit and quenching uh, thereunto with all uh, perseverance and yes. supplication for all saints yes. and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may yes. open my mouth boldly yes. to yes. make known the mysteries of the gospel yes. thank you Lord for giving me the bonus that yes. I need yes. Yes. <laughs> I see you in the world I know you and I know what you do and I'm man you're bold when you get full of that stuff <laughs> and you go and do this and you go and do this and when you ain't full of that stuff stuff uh -huh. you are just a whip yeah well you know what i want to be full of god yeah. stuff amen i want to get high on the most yeah. high yeah. and i want to go and look for me some devils <laughs> <laughs> look for me some giants that are out there coming against me mm. and i'm boldly going to take some steps of faith amen. and march for god and go yes. for god amen he says go yeah i tell you what when i'm full of him i'm full of his word mm -hmm. and i'm built up in the word of god and stirred up ain't no devil in hell gonna stop you mm -hmm. ain't no devil in hell gonna try to get in your way yeah. amen. amen you're gonna fulfill what god has called you to do amen. and everybody's trying to stop you everybody's trying to tell you that god can't use you you're no no good you're nobody mm -hmm. but god called to you and he's yeah. not going to take his calling from you. Mm -hmm. He's not going to take those gifts he's gifted you with. He's not going to take them back. It's going to be there for you to fulfill what yes. he's called you to do. Until I get right with him and know what his word says, I'm going to step out in faith and fulfill and accomplish what he's called me to do. 
and he's caught the guy and call on them, each and every one of you. Yes. Somebody needs to hear this. Yeah. Because you've been given the wrong information. That's right. It's time to hear the truth. Hear the truth. That's it. And get right with God. Yes. You know, when you get right with God, like the prodigal mm -hmm. son, he just ran off from father. <laughs> but guess what? He found out the truth. When his money was gone, when his money was gone, mm -hmm. his friends was gone. Yeah. You know, some friends just hang around with you when you got the money. And when you got the stuff, whatever that stuff happens to be, they're going to hang around. But when the stuff is gone, they're gone. They're going to find somebody else that's got some stuff. <laughs> and you're going to be all by yourself. Uh -huh. Come on. They gonna, you're going to be all by yourself. You say, oh, Lord, are you still there? <laughs> Say, yeah, I never, he never went anywhere. It. It's us that walked away right, like the prodigal right, son. Right. Say, Lord, I want to come home. Mm -hmm. You know what he's going to say? Mm -hmm. He says, come. Yeah. You make a turnaround. You make an about face. Yes, you. And you change ways. He yes. says, I am the way. Mm -hmm. You've hit the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Come back this way. Yeah. You make an about face and you come back to Father. Mm -hmm. And he's waiting with open arms and says, okay, dust yourself off. Yeah. This is what the, this is what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Now go and sin no more. That's go it. and accomplish what I told you to do. Yeah. Come on now, somebody, somebody, somebody. Yeah. You said now. And verse twenty says, "For which I am an ambassador in bonds, mm -hmm. that that therein I may speak boldly yeah. as I ought to speak." Amen. Amen. Some of us, like I said, some of us speak real bold <laughs> when we're for <laughs> something else. But when it comes to Speaking about God, man, we live quiet as little mice in, in church, you know, not say anything. Do something else. I, mean, I know you. Speak out. Confess the right things. <laughs> Woo, come on. <laughs> you still the pastor up. <laughs> Being a Christian requires every effort and sacrifice. Let's go to Luke 9, 23. Luke 9, 23, 9, 23. Chapter 9, verse 23. <laughs> Luke 9, 23. Luke 9, 23. And he said unto them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and let him take up his cross daily and follow me. Amen. And then you follow me. He says unto them all, If any man will come after me. That's women, men, women. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Uh, Matthew six thirty three tells us. He says to seek you first the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Seek him first. Amen. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Yeah. So we're gonna deny ourselves. We're gonna listen. First, if you want to change ways, first you gotta do it. <coughs> you gotta get off the throne uh -huh. and put God back on the throne. Amen. <laughs> Yes. And just be obedient to what he tells you to do. Amen. Yes. Amen. So this is the way of, of a Christian, of, 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 a, of a believer. Yeah. Being a believer requires effort and sacrifice. Yes. Amen. We got to deny ourselves. Uh -huh. And we got to trust him and what he tells us to do. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, uh, Acts uh, 1617, write this down. Acts 1617, the same... Uh, Followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which shows unto us the way of salvation. Amen. He's called us to bring the word, to preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. So you're part of it. You're going and sharing Christ with everyone else. Amen. He's called us ministers of reconciliation. And that's that's us. We bring the gospel. The good news to the yeah. lost world that's full of bad news. Amen. Yeah. So uh, Acts 18 26 says, And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, who when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, mm -hmm. they took him unto them and expounded unto him the way yes. of God more perfectly. Yes. Amen. So <laughs> yes. when you get full of him, you're going to speak. God's word. Yeah. And it's going to come out of you boldly. See, man, I never yeah. seen you like that before. Mm -hmm. You know, at one time, Peter told Jesus he was willing to die for him. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus says, before this night told you, you'll deny me three times. Yeah. Yeah. At the third time, oh, the cock crowed. Mm -hmm. And Jesus turned, and Peter turned, and their eyes met. Their eyes met. They looked at each other. Mm. But Jesus never gave up on it. That's it. Amen. After this, when it was time for Peter to bring a message, Jesus didn't say, you're not good enough. You denied me three times. Mm -hmm. I can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, somebody needs to hear this now. Yes. Jesus used him twice yes, and thousands <laughs> came into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus had a calling on him mm -hmm. and didn't deny him. That's Amen. Right. And he boldly got up and spoke what God told him to speak. Yes. Amen. But see, man looks at the fault. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You denied me. And I'm going to sit you down and you ain't going to do for me no more. <laughs> I can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't trust you anymore. Mm. That's people for you. Yeah. Yeah. God says, he still had hope in him. Yes. He says, I called to you and I'm not taking it calling from you. Yeah. I've gifted you. I'm not taking those gifts from you. Mm -hmm. Still, he went and preached yes. boldly what God yes. wanted him to preach. Yeah. And thousands, thousands, mm -hmm. thousands came to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So God has called to you. He hadn't taken his calling from you. Mm -hmm. You can go still. get Dust yourself yes. off. Do it about face. Follow uh -huh. the right way. Yeah. Follow God's way. He says, I am the way. Follow me. Yes. And do what he's called you to do. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Where were we? <laughs> mm. This is the way to heaven. Matthew 7, 14 says, Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way yes. which leadeth unto life. And few there will find it. Amen. It's okay. You know, hey, I've shared mm. this with you before. Thousands may be going the wrong way. Mm. And a lot of us wants to follow the crowd. Oh boy. And that way, man, is wide. Yes, and there's a yes. lot of people going that way. They must be going the right way. <laughs> no, it's just no. narrow is the way. Narrow is the way. You may be the only one on the right way. Mm. You stay on the way to God. You yes. stay on the right way. Amen. Yeah. You don't have to follow a crowd and you don't have to copy anybody. That's it. Except be an imitator of yes. Christ. Amen. Copy Amen. what he says. <laughs> says those who walk. This road will receive eternal life. Mm -hmm. Romans uh, 2 and 7 says, To them who by patience continues in well-doing, seeking glory and honor and immorality, eternal life. Amen. He's going to reward you. Yeah. He's going to bless you. Amen. Amen. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Thousands and many are going to come yeah. because... You being obedient to what God has called you to be. Yeah. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. How are we doing? Good. We're doing good. <laughs> We're doing good. He also says he is the truth. So now we know he is the way. Yeah. Now we know he is the only way. Yeah. And we know that he is the way we want to go. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the prodigal son finally realized, yes. hey, this is the right way. He right. told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Mm -hmm. Jonah says, I'm going the other way. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the ship opposite. Yeah. And he went the other way. Yes, he did. he found out, he says, you know, when he got swallowed by the big fish, <laughs> he says, okay, Lord, <laughs> I'll go your way. Mm -hmm. I'll do it your way. And some of us, you know, have got to that point mm -hmm. where we're in a place where <laughs> I've really messed this up. You know, I got myself in the wrong place. No. I've done the wrong thing. But Lord, give me a chance. Yes. yes. I sin against you. I repent. Come be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Or if you're already born again, all you have to do is say, Lord, I've done wrong. I've sinned. Mm -hmm. He says, confess it. And he'll forgive you. Yes. And, and forget it. You know, he'll, he'll forget it as far as the east is yes. from the west. Yes. We remember it. <coughs> But he doesn't. And the enemy knows this because yeah. he tries to put thoughts in our minds. Yes. Says, you know what? He's not going to forgive you this time. Mm -hmm. So don't even confess it. Don't even say anything. Mm -hmm. Just receive it and be a loser. Uh -uh. No. no. God says, I make you to be a winner. Yeah. I make you to be a champion. Confess yeah. your sin. Dust yeah. yourself off. And yeah. let's go at it again. Yes. Amen. 
That's how you become that winner God makes you to be. Yeah. Amen. Thank Obey and being obedient to what the word of God says. Yes. Not by say, well, you know, I'm not going to make it this time. I'm not going to do it this time. And you got all kinds of friends agreeing with you. <laughs> say, nah, you know, just hang out with us, man. You know, you've gone to church so many times. It's time for you to take a break. Oh, Jesus. It's that break the enemy needs wants yeah. to bring you down. Bring you down. That's it. Amen. There's no crack in your armor. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. You got the whole armor. Keep the armor oh. on. <laughs> we don't rest and we don't take it off. Mm. So Jesus is the word of God. Yes. Amen. And we're going to start with knowing the truth. Let's go to John 8, 31. Mm. The book of John, verse 8. Book of John, verse, uh, excuse me, uh, chapter 8, verse 31. Chapter 8, verse 31. <clears throat> the true children of Abraham. And then saith Jesus to those Jews which believeth in him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples yeah. indeed. And 32 says, And ye shall know the what? Truth. truth and the truth will make you. Free. Free. So he is also the truth. Jesus yes. is, he says, I am the way, the truth, yes. and the life. Yes. So praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, that is that is bold. This is red. Amen. And uh, you know what? We're going to stop right here. <laughs> and we're going to continue. And we're going to pick it up with the truth. Mm -hmm. We're not going to try to learn it all at one time, one setting. Yeah. Amen. But Jesus is, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one yeah. goes to the Father except through me. So next week, we'll start off with Jesus and the truth. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Some of you may have had the chance before we close, giving you a chance to just say, Lord, I failed you. <laughs> I've done you wrong. Mm. I've sinned against you. I repent. Will you take me back? Yeah. <laughs> Be my Lord and Savior. You know what? He'll take you back every time. Yes, but you have to be serious. And you have to be bold enough to say, Hey, I need to change. I need to change my ways. Mm -hmm. And I need to follow the true way. Yes. And I need to follow the truth and the life. Yeah. And when you confess Him as your Lord and Savior, He'll come into your life. Yes, and will. make you what you want you to be. Amen. So be what he wants you to be. Yeah. And don't accept the truth any I mean uh, the lies anymore. Yeah. Know the truth because it's going to set you free. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Some of you may be hurting, whatever that hurt may be. Maybe on the outside, maybe on the inside. Jesus says that by his stripes you were healed. He says this temple is this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So Father, we just thank you that yes. by Jesus Christ we are healed from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Sickness, you have a name. We cancel you. We command you to leave right yes. now in Jesus' name. Spirit of infirmity, go now in Jesus' name. We receive that healing yes. for brother, for sister, whatever it may be. We thank you for it right now, Father, yes. in Jesus' name. We call ourselves well. We call ourselves healed because that's what the Word of God says. Amen. Yes. So yes. praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some of you, this may be the opportunity for you to give your tithe and your offerings. Amen. You've been watching, you've been listening, and you want to give your tithe now, so you can still do that. Go to our website, nbcbigbin.com, and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it to us, NBC PO Box 252. Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. Amen. And all we want to say is, God loves you and we love you. Amen. So have a blessed week. We'll see you next week. God bless.